Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Relix, and today we are going to continue our Brother vs. Brother Halo competition uh, for Halo CE. Uh, just real quick, I just wanted to let you guys know. Uh, as you guys can see, on, I'm at the leaderboards for the campaign scoring. And you guys can see on the screen myself, Sky Charger, as well as Rocket Jr., who is Sensei Shane, my brother who I am competing against. Uh, I wanted to see if the scores update, and they did. So if you look here, all of my scores that I got before, they have updated. So my new Pearl of Autumn, my Truth Reconciliation, Sergeant Cartographer, and my Assault on the Control Room. They have all been updated. They have, I guess they just needed time to load, which is weird that it just didn't load right there considering that it got the new record. Either way, the records are there. So I just wanted to throw it out there that yes, they are fully updated and, you know, are on the online system. So. Next year, that means I don't have to really worry about the scores not being on the game, and I don't have to rely on the book. Hopefully. We'll see. Uh, they are there though, so just wanted to throw that out there real quick, but today we are going to continue and do 343 Guilty Spark. Alright, so. Turn my volume up a little bit on my headset. Let's get on with this. Alright, so fairly easy mission. I don't think time has ever really been a huge issue for us doing this one. Just like the Pillar of Autumn, it's kind of one that we should probably get 3.0 most of the time, if not every time. Um, the difficult part about this, especially uh, any flood mission, is the RNG that the flood die and give you a score. The last transmission from the captain's dropship was from this area. That was over 12 hours ago. When you locate Captain Keys, radio in. I'll come pick you up. So I don't know why I'm picking this ammo up. I don't really need to get the ammo because I'm going to drop this immediately. Um, okay. There's my possum pistol. There we go. That was a terrible throw. <laughs> but I still got a jackal. It's <laughs> pretty funny. Alright. So, as I was saying, um. Oh, don't want to fall. As I was saying, uh, this mission is uh, interesting because uh, the flood, they don't always die in one shot, uh, they can come back to life. In which sometimes you don't even get a score, which is an issue for me. So that's one of those ones right there that you can get a lot of score. Unfortunately, I kind of missed through my grenades, so I didn't get as high of a score as I should have probably gotten. But that's okay. Uh, I remember from last year, I was doing this mission and I was noticing a lot of the uh, flood kills, I was not getting a uh, score. So hopefully this year, that changes. There you go, that's how you get a score. Hits here. There are switch guns here. Oh! So jackals, <laughs> they hurt. They're my bane. Uh, still providing a lot of trouble for me. So I still have this frag. I didn't use it because of this part right here. These jackals kind of unaware of your position. Ah! I just fucked that one up. So of course jackals being my bane, of course they're going to screw up my uh, my grenade throwing. That was weird. The uh, I'm I'm not even going to talk about it. Forget it. 
Just know that I hate jackals. Jackals get in the way. Their shields suck. Uh, yeah, I hate jackals. They ruin everything. I've also had people actually, I had actually my friend asked me, uh, how come I use plasma pistol over a plasma rifle? You know, because the plasma pistol is semi-automatic, whereas the plasma rifle is fully automatic. And I told him that I like plasma pistol because I could, A, I could shoot the plasma pistol fast. You know, you guys can see on my videos, I shoot it really fast. That's why I use it. Um, I also use it because the energy blast and it comes with technically it comes with more ammo than any other gun because plasma pistols have three shots for every percent plasma rifle does two so that's why I take it over it and then uh, I feel like it's more accurate as well especially since it does single shots Of course, it is preference on, you know, the guns. Some people like fully automatic, some people don't. That's one reason why I don't like the assault rifle, because I'm not a big fully automatic guy. I like to take my time and shoot everything individually. But every gun has its uses, and this is one of those moments for the assault rifle, that's for sure. I don't have any grenades, which sucks. Uh, I definitely wanted to have some here. So as you guys can see, I I didn't kill them all. Uh, they didn't give me all score because some didn't die, which is annoying. I could use some grenades. Ah, right, perfect. So I got four grenades here. That's good. Because we're going to need some grenades as soon as we get out of here. I did not throw my grenades very well, I will admit. But we still got a good score there, so that's not too bad. Definitely could have been better. So here we don't need to waste too much time killing. Coming up here. Oh! Very annoying. As well as the flood. Since I have the time, I might as well shoot these guys. Alright. Do apologize if I'm being a little loud. I have my mic a little too close to me. Oh, that grunt was killing me. I didn't even see him. Because I was adjusting my mic, I didn't turn around. <laughs> so you can see those two didn't die and give me score. So they came back to life. So now I get a triple kill. I gotta be careful because I could have took too many hits and died there. You always gotta be careful about that.
now the floods are going to come with guns, which is annoying as hell. Alright, so we take care of the flood there, get this little overshield, you know, extra survivability. here too. Unfortunately they're just gonna die. Alright. So I like to use the camo here to get the kills while you're in cloaks. And then once you kill everything then you can go down and pick up the weapons. Ow! Don't shoot me. And then, of course, before you leave, get the other cloak. Which I should expire soon. There we go. Alright, so I don't need the plaza pistol anymore. I could take this guy's shotgun. Wish I had a little bit more ammo. I think there's more ammo over here. Yes, there was. Alright, so not too much, and I don't have any grenades. I got one frag, so that sucks. But we got the shotgun, that's what matters. This is the weapon we want. So you can see, they're not giving me a score. But they're not also not coming back to life, so again. Another circumstance where they're just not uh, giving me anything, you know? should have some multi-kills right there, but they're not giving me anything. Very annoying. One reason why I don't like this, you know, flood missions in general. Flood missions suck. They don't give you score. So it could be RNG on how good we do on this mission, as well as the library as well. Uh, one reason why you want to take explosives, because explosives definitely kill the flood. So even though those, those guys didn't come back to life, they weren't going to come back anyways. So you just don't get a score for it. And it sucks. It's like I didn't get a score for that one. As you can see I only got three. You do want the multi kills because uh, for every multi kill you get, you get extra points. Is that right there? I should have got another double kill. That guy didn't come back to life, but unfortunately that's not how the game works. Alright. Alright, so this is towards the end of the mission. Just gotta keep going. There we go, triple kill. It's actually very nice. Ouch. Alright, so again, I didn't get all the kills I possibly could have got. But that's okay. This is Echo 419. Chief, is that you? I lost your signal when you disappeared inside. So the now we just need to make our way out of here. I'm tracking movement all over the place. Got a bunch of marines. Thank God you're here. Probably one of the coolest moments of this game. However, the marines themselves are so useless against the flood. 
There's no point in keeping them alive, so just keep charging through. There's a large tower a few hundred meters from your current blood. position. Find a way above the fog and foliage canopy and I can move in and pick you up. Watch out, because the flood do have shotguns. Try and keep your guns loaded too if you can. There is a glitch where the Marines are getting stuck uh, certain places on this map. So unfortunately you're not going to have all of them. But you can try. One guy. That's kind of cool. That was Bob. Covering fire. I got one survivor. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, he may die there. Oh, he's good. So he's good. He's alive. That's awesome. Unless I really screw this part up, I Over should here. be okay to get this Bring no deaths. Ah, oh, beautiful kill. Oh, I shot my Marine. <laughs> I shot my guy. Nailed him. Don't try to play dead on me, pal. That'll teach him. And that's it. A real fast mission. Ooh! So, as you guys can see, I went five seconds over the par time for this. Uh, or at least the multiplier par time. So, I did not get 3.0, I got 2.99 because I went five seconds over. That's okay. I don't really care. Um, my score, I, honestly, as you guys saw, uh, some flood, and I, I explained it along the way. Some flood just don't. Yeah, some flood just don't get you kills. Uh, they don't give you score. Therefore, you can't make combo kills. And I obviously screwed up some of my grenade throws. Um, definitely could do a little bit better there. That's for sure. Either way, uh, we came out pretty good. Two ninety-seven kills. And again, another zero deaths. That's great. Uh, it's funny that it says assault rifle because every individual. Uh, Infection form counted as a kill So again, this is one of those games where the flood play a part into the kill count Doesn't always say you know tell the story. It's not all about the kill count um, In this game again score is the main feature uh, Deaths and obviously time then kills is probably kills are probably the least important in most games but it does help identify in certain missions you know, the difference between having a higher score and a lower score. Uh, in this one, it doesn't matter about the kills because uh, it's a lot of infection forms. But, it's not too bad. Uh, it still beats my brother's high score. As you guys can see, he has a 43,887. Uh, I, as of this recording, I have beat... Uh, I did play this before my brother's livestream, so... Who knows, maybe he might beat it this time around, who knows. Uh, you guys can find out either by watching his live streams and or keeping up to date with these videos. Um, this is a shorter one, but uh, you know, I'm trying to trying to round it out a little bit here. Trying to give you guys some info. Um, you guys want to see the kills? As you guys can see, I had uh, there's flood combat, infection, jackals, and grunts. Uh, no elites in this one. Uh, they are in the actual flood combat forms for elites, but yeah. Jackals and grunts only for the Covenant, so uh, these guys take the bulk of it, the infection forms. Um, honestly, annoying things, but not horrible to deal with. It's the next mission, the library, that uh, it's only going to be Flood, and the Flood combat forms are just annoying as hell. 
Uh, they also introduced the carrier form. You gotta watch out for those. Those are like probably like the reason why you should get deaths on the library. Um, but yeah, so that's the 343 Guilty Spark. Again, five seconds over, not a big deal. Uh, usually I do it in like 13 to 14 minutes. I'm actually kind of kind of slow. I'm a little disappointed in myself, but that's okay. No worries there. Still had a great record. Again, my brother, he also does it really fast too. He also hits the three multipliers. And yet, his score is always lower than mine. Uh, it's just a matter of getting kills here and there. You know, combo kills and all the kills throughout. But, uh, yeah. So that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. Comment down below what you guys thought. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And step, stay tuned for the next episode. The next one's library. If you haven't already, go check out my brother's live streams. If not, check out my other videos as well. Um, again, this is we do this annually. So if you guys didn't, weren't here for uh, 2024, uh, 2023, uh, this is the 2024 run. So go check that out if you want to as well. You can see uh, who won and who lost. Halo, my Halo 5 video. Uh, well, I did a recap video as well, but my Halo 5 video for uh, Halo 5 Guardians. The last mission called Guardians has all the information as well. So uh, in the description. So feel free to go check that out if you haven't already. But uh, for now, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. It's going to be tough. Bye.